that. All right, uh, we we rolling. Excuse me. Uh, have leave you it. ever yeah, ate cat over before? The bridge. Some you like to take cat? Shit. Well, let's stop fucking with people. There you go. Who was we talking about? Yeah. Oh yeah, we was talking about Tupac and Biggie Smalls. Like what we was just saying, cause we had the camera die. But like even Biggie Smalls was a fat piece of shit, and he even admitted it. Like he had that. Like I'm gonna say it again. We just said it off camera. Uh, Biggie Smalls on his first album, Ready to Die. There was no truth on that whole album, none. Even though Tupac was a faggot, Tupac had more truth than uh, Biggie Smalls' fat ass. But uh, Biggie had that song, Me and My Bitch. He said, me and my bitch, she looks so good, I suck on her daddy's dick. And like, what's that song? The last song on the album. When he said, fuck it, when I die, I want to go to hell. I'm a piece of shit. It ain't hard to fucking tell. They packed the burritos. Okay, and he's right. Biggie Small, he is a piece of shit. That's why the Most High killed his fat ass. And did you see how fat that motherfucker was before he died in the interviews? He was all fat, breathing all heavy. Heavy as fuck, laying down. I, one eye pointing this way, the other eye pointing this way. Most High cursed that fat motherfucker. He had some nasty song. He had a skit on his album when a bitch, uh, he was shitting on a bitch. <laughs> you hear that? He's like, he's like, so I shitted on a bitch. That's a fat piece of shit, man. But you got here, you got people idolizing Biggie Smalls, who's a fat piece of shit. And idolizing Tupac, who like, I don't know if we got it on camera, but Tupac was part of Digital Underground. He was a hype man. And he was like uh, having sex with blow up dolls on stage. He was a goddamn ballerina. You know what I'm saying? Uh, just a big faggot, man. Tupac was an actual homosexual to suck cock. Got fucked in the ass by Shook Knight. But this is y'all's role models. That's your idol. You know what I'm saying? That's your idol. Did y'all know Tupac was a homosexual and a faggot? I bet y'all didn't know that, did you? No, don't know that. Now you do. Is that on Wikipedia? Yes, it is. Look it up. Really? Look it up. <laughs> fucking, that's some fucking bronies right there. <laughs> Hi, ladies. Let me read this picture. This is a song 28 and Pope Star 2. Hear the voice of my supplication when I cry unto thee. When I lift up my hands toward thy holy oracle, draw me not away from the wicked and the workers of iniquity which speak peace to thy neighbor, but mischief be in their hearts. Give them according to their deeds and according to their wickedness uh, read of that. their endeavors. Read that again. What did it say? Um, give them, wait a minute. Draw me not away with the wicked and with the workers of iniquity. So we don't want to have nothing to do with the wicked. We ain't hanging out with two thirds, okay? If we know somebody's a piece of shit, we ain't talking to him, we ain't hanging out with him. The only people we dealing with, you know, brothers in the truth. Now, unless we try to teach some people the truth, but once they reject it, <laughs> we reject them. You know what I'm saying? Keep going. Um, we speak peace to their neighbors. We speak peace to their neighbors. Like all these people out here, what they always say. Y'all speaking too much hate. Y'all supposed to preach love. Where's all the like, love? Where's that in the Bible? Yeah, exactly. Keep going. We speak peace to their neighbors, but mischief be in their heart. Yeah, everybody out here, they speak like they peaceful, but you got mischief in your heart. You got malice and evil and iniquity in your heart. Keep going. Give them according to their deeds and according to the wickedness of their endeavors. Give them after the work of their hands, render to them their desert. Well, that's what, that go back to karma. <laughs> what goes around comes around, motherfuckers. Second Thessalonians. Exactly. And remember, we looked up the definition of the etymology of karma, and what does it mean to make? Man, right. So you make your own, when you, when you treat people, like, like you a piece of shit, you're going to get treated like man, a piece man, of shit. Matt, we just did it recently. Time just flying, man. Yeah. Video after video, man. That means the work. Yep. That's all that means. Because they regard not the works of the Lord, because they regard not the works of the Lord, nor the operation of his hands. Right. The, the thoughts of the Most High ain't in nobody's mind out here. Like, uh, I remember this is uh, one of my favorite bands is Sublime. Uh, they got that song, uh, 
What's that song? Uh, Paul, help me out. Uh, Roots of Creation. No, not Roots of Creation. That song when he said, uh, when the music goes, hold on a second. They got, I forget how it goes. They got that song where it says, uh, the music goes all night unless somebody speaks the word. Bad Fish. Time. Was that on Bad Fish? Yeah. Right, they said, as long as nobody brings out the word of the Lord, the music and the party gonna go all night. You know? No, that's not what they were saying in that song. Wait, I can't remember the exact, yes it is. It said, the music goes all night. Something like, I, whatever, go ahead. They he's were praising the Lord in that song. destroy them and not build them up. Bless be the Lord. Bless be the Lord because he hath heard the voice of my supplication. I thought that was in Don't Push. That wasn't bad, fish. Don't push. The Lord is my strength. So the Lord is our strength. Okay, our strength ain't no United States government, no goddamn Barack Obama. Our strength is the most high beat in the up. sun. Good Lord. <laughs> I'll beat it up. But give her a give lesson. Her that off that. <laughs> he got that on camera. <laughs> There's a reason why I You guys pointed it out. Got to get on camera. Yeah, you got, yeah, right. A woman ain't supposed to walk around with no tight ass pants like that. Like when I'm at work and I see shit like that, I'm, I say I'm glad I got an apron on. Like, Cause the Bible says I ain't got an apron on right now. Because the Bible now. says if a woman's not betrothed, that you can just snatch it up. I was just reading that last night. What's that in the book of Judges? When the Benjamites, when they had uh, after damn near almost all of Benjamin got killed, and then uh, the Lord showed mercy upon Benjamin. Oh uh, yeah, there's only 600 left. Right, and He showed mercy on them. No woman. And then they went, they went and got a bunch of virgins for Benjamin, and just let the virgin women run loose. And it said Benjamin just went out and just snatched them up. They just snatching women up. I wish I could just go out and snatch women up. I practically do, but I wish I could. Well, the Lord, yeah. The Lord. The Lord almost totally uh, eliminated the tribe of Benjamin. For that, for that, for that sexual shit, because they, they raped that uh, woman. They raped that guy's concubine. Uh, they, they raped her. Like, it's like how many of them? Like thirty of them, or twenty of them? A lot of them. They raped that woman. So, all night. So all these people out here, they all engage in orgies. They all make them pornos. So the Lord gonna bring vengeance on you for that, man. All night. They damn near killed her. They. All night, again, the kids are busy. So he probably did her a favor for me. Excuse me. How are you? Oh, come on. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusted in him, and I am helped. Therefore, my heart greatly rejoices, and with my song, well, I praise him. Uh, who was I looking for? Uh, yeah, with a song, we praise the Lord in a song. What kind of songs do you hear on the radio? They ain't praising the Most High. Like, we just talking about Biggie Smalls. Did you ever hear Biggie Smalls praise the Most High? Fuck he said, no. "Fuck it, when I die, I want to go to hell. I'm a piece of shit. I'm. Uh, it ain't hard to tell." Right. He said, "I don't want to go to heaven with the goody goods dressed in white." You know what I'm saying? That dude's a big. That's the type of music these people listen to, man. Some evil, demonic. Uh, it's fucking sorcery, is what it is. You ever hear Lil Wayne praising the Most High? Lil Wayne got a music video, got devil horns, bitches taking baths and blood. <laughs> Eminem got that song, uh, 3 in the morning. How 3 a.m. 3 in the morning go? Uh, it's 3 a.m. in the morning. He said he's drinking bloody bath water. He was like, I never remember this much fun since I drank my cousin's bath water. <laughs> like, and See? then I wrapped him up in the Christmas cords. Like. Yeah, what kind of sick shit is that, man? That's some sick fucking shit. Big Hoodoo, the new psychopathic shit, he tells you he's a sorcerer. He was like, I ain't an atheist or a Satanist. I'm still debating, bitch. Say, that's all nonsense and fucking evil shit. That's all they talking about. <laughs> it, none of these songs, and if they do sing about the most high, they fuck it up. Like all these reggae singers. The reggae singers, you think they're doing good, praising the most high in their songs. Then they gotta go mention Haley Selassie. And they say Heli Selassie's the king of kings. You're talking about the tribe of Benjamin. 
Yo, that's the tribe of Benjamin for your ass right there. And you, well, as soon as I hear that word Heli Selassie, I turn that shit off. Them Yabrastafarians, I can't even take them. I tried to listen to them a couple of times, but couldn't because bullshit's all they mentioned. They always got to come out giving praise to Heli Selassie, a goddamn heathen. Trying to say Haley Selassie is the Lord and Reaper. Yeah, that's what Sydney's son was talking about. Haley Selassie. Yeah, don't like Sydney looked like Haley Selassie. <laughs> you remember Sydney, don't you? Hey, you remember Sydney? He, he used to bring that homegrown over. <laughs> Long way back in the day. Yeah, he looked just like Haley Selassie. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, fake Jew. Who? What's up, you fake Jew? You're going to hell, you fake Jew bastard. You're going to burn in the flames, you faggot. <laughs> he, he had a little easy as flag. Israeli flag. <laughs> yeah. He said he was a Sephardic Jew. You mean a Sephardic? Like a fart? <laughs> Fucking big piece of shit, like he said, piece of shit. The son of a bitch. Like I should look, I used to know, I forgot. But I heard it was just some Ashkenazis that, that, that migrated down to Spain. The Ashkenazis, the Beastie Boys. That's what they're Ashkenazi. That's why your homie Lance is an Ashkenazi Jew. Yeah, he's an Israelite guy. He comes, he says he's a Jew through his grandmother's side. And you can't tell. Yeah, oh yeah, because see, that's even more proof that he ain't one of them devils. Because your line goes through your father. That proves that them so-called Jews ain't teaching any kind of truth. Because the Bible says you are who your father is. But a fake Jew over there in Israel, they, they say you're a Jew if your mother was a Jew. That's how retard but, Where's that at in the Bible? Show me in the Bible where it says that you're a Jew because your uh, mother was a Jew. Yeah, you go through Christ's whole genealogy, all it mentions is fucking men, not one woman. The Matthew 101, it says what? The uh, son of Abraham, the son of David. It don't say the, you know, the, the son, son of Mary. The son of Mary, fucking son of it don't, Elizabeth it don't or Rebecca. Genealogy. It don't say none yeah, of that Rebecca, shit. It don't say Rebecca. And, uh, it don't say that, man. It don't say Sarah. <laughs> That, that ain't in there, okay? Even though Sarah was a righteous Israelite woman, you know what I mean? Because you know the word Sarah, you know that pretty much means princess, you know that? Okay. Sarah, you know the word Sarah? That, that's the same as the word Shar. It's, it's in like Yah Sharala. Come on, stop talking to me. I'm trying to. What is it? It's, How are you truth. doing? The truth. You know what the truth is? You read the Bible? It, it's probably, you're probably, it's probably, it's probably, you, yeah, it's, why'd you guys stop talking to him like He said not to talk to you. No, it's, 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 it's not going to be interesting at all to you. Why? Yeah, because you might have Because we're reading the Bible. Right. Yeah, we're reading the Bible. I believe in God. I read the Bible. Uh, what God? Jesus. What yes, what Jesus. Yes, Jesus. You're right about that. What color is he? I don't know. Do you know? Read the Bible. Probably, like, probably Arab. No. Arab. Arab. Arabs are Ishmaelites. You know what an Ishmaelite is? Someone who's from Israel. No, no, Ishmaelite. The Abraham had a. Uh, Abraham's first son was Ishmael, and all the Arabs today descend from Ishmael. Like on the Muslims, the Muslims are for the most part Ishmaelites. They did not receive the promise. Jacob uh, received the promise because. Abraham's other son was Isaac, yeah. and Isaac was the father of Jacob, whose name was changed to Israel. Okay, because we're Israelites, and the Lord, because the Lord only came to save the Israelites. It tells you that throughout the whole Bible. Well, well, let, me, let me read. It. Let me see if you can. Um, you remember we were talking about the mysteries and the secrets. And stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, because you've been taught lies curiosity. about the Bible your whole life. So what like, do you mean? How, like the Bible? What do you mean? Lies about the Bible. Just let me read it. Let me read this. You read straight from the Bible. How is it lying to you? Okay. Here you go. This is Revelation. You know what Revelation means? Yeah, yeah. What? End of the world. No, Revelation means to reveal. To reveal. The coming. To reveal. Like, no, it means no, to reveal. No, he's talking about the word like Revelation. If someone was, you didn't know something, Revelation. It means oh, I it thought was you meant revealed like, to. In there. Revealed to. Okay. <laughs> Revelation 1 and 13. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment 
down to the foot and they girt about the paps with they go to That's why you see what I mean. Do it with the same thing. Except he was uh he had a golden girdle. Right. This one. Now I want you to tell me what this is. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Yeah. White like wool. Now who what people you know that has woolly hair? Woolly hair? Woolly hair. If it was white. You have woolly hair? Well, white means like gray hair. You know what I mean? Like you right. get old white gray hair. Yes. Right. White. From stress and dealing with the, these wicked fools in the world. And he was a young man, but it says white like wool. What people on earth has woolly hair? Oh. Wool? <laughs> so you get old and get woolly hair? African American. <laughs> yeah, you can. Bingo, you nailed it. There you go. So the Lord was. Wait, that's not the only people that have woolly hair. It goes further though. No. The scripture goes further. Like who, for example? I don't know, Indians. They don't what, have Indian, woolly hair. what Indians though? It, like, I'm not talking about Native Americans. I'm talking about Indian people. No, Native Americans did have woolly hair. Well, they, you know, there's a lot of yeah, a lot of them was black. The Native Americans, they're Israelites. Right. You know the twelve tribes of Israel. Yeah. Who the Lord's coming to say? You're from Ohio. From I'm from North Carolina. Where? North Carolina. Wow. But, you, but you check this out. You know, here in Ohio, uh, my fault. Here in Ohio, they found numerous artifacts written in ancient Hebrew. Here in Ohio, they found the Ten Commandments written in the ancient Hebrew script right what here in Ohio. Do y'all to? This is our church. You guys? You know what the word church means? People. It to means gather to call, together. To call out. It means to call out. So the Bible, see, back in the ancient world, all the apostles. Cause the word apostle means to be sent out like you sent out on a mission so we on a mission to spread the word right but you supposed to be on the highways and the byways on the streets like that's a, what y'all are doing yeah we're, we're crazy you know what i mean Bingo. i don't think you're crazy i just feel like you're doing what you do people hate things. us for what we do out here why they throw bricks of firecrackers at us are you serious they throw bottles of piss at us are you serious Fuck yeah what did they do to the lord they crucified him they, yeah. they killed him they didn't like the lord what would That's you better like read? Ridiculous. Sorry that happens to you guys. Oh, no, it's cool because we're going to get our reward. Yeah. That's crazy. People are so mean. Yes, they are. Yeah, you know. Oh, oh we ain't worried about it. Plus, I like it that way. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather <laughs> them be mean you know, to us than nice. You know, they tell you that we all won. We all brothers and sisters. You know. But all it does is expose this country to the it's a nation of hypocrites. Right. And the Lord calls this nation a nation of hypocrites. A hypocritical nation. Well, the Lord said, all, it, you know, yeah, he said this is a, uh, a wicked generation of hypocrites. What are you videotaping for? Oh, this is for educational purposes on the internet. <laughs> yeah, you can, uh, if y'all got on Twitter, we got, you can follow, follow us on Twitter, Kings of the Earth. Kings uh, of we the post, Earth. Yeah, Kings of the Earth. We post all the links to all the videos. Go ahead, read what you got. This is uh, Luke uh, 3 and 4. As it is written in the book yeah. of the words of Isaiah, yeah. the prophet saying, the voice of one crying in the wilderness. That's what we're doing right now. We're crying in the wilderness. Prepare ye the way of the Lord. Like crying in the wilderness don't mean to go out in the middle of the forest. Okay, you go, you go teach some squirrels and some raccoons. Well, I know. You know I'm, I'm, not, I'm not that slow. I can't. <laughs> I'll I can't things together. The voice of one crying in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord, make his path straight. Straight, so what is that prepare word? Prepare him in straight the way. The word straight. Uh, pretty much it's a path of difficulty, you know? Well, so it is difficult to follow the Lord. It's difficult to... Because I guess it's easy to tell lies and like, shit. Like, um, get people to believe you when you lie. Sausage, pepperoni, uh, pig feet, chitlins. <laughs> what about We're telling you to stop eating it, but some people just can't do it. You know the Bible said don't eat pork? There's a lot of people... The Old Testament. Well, whole book, the whole book. Hey, look, let me read you a scripture real quick. Hey, we get a Leviticus 11 and 7 real quick. First of all, that pork is Hey, at least she knows that it's in the Old Testament. Yeah, at least you know what's in there. I feel like, I, I mean, yeah. my church that I go to is not denominational. And they basically, well, they don't tell us this, but basically what they imply is that in the Old Testament, you shouldn't take everything literally. <laughs> <laughs> Check this out. They're just trying to get your money. In the 
New Testament is the gospel, and that's really what you need to focus on. Oh my God. Well, we're about to focus on Jesus right here. Check this out. <laughs> we're going to read some red letters. Let me read this. This is Matthew. Uh, where we at? Hey, that's why we are here to we give you nothing out. but truth. Right, we're not used to our own opinions coming from our heart, you know? We're giving you the truth out the Bible. This damn bus is loud as hell. I pray the Lord destroy them Coda buses. All right, that's, let me read this. Matthew, now, now listen up, listen up, because your church ain't gonna read this scripture. Okay. This is gonna mess with their money, because it is all about money. Now listen, Matthew, how many times they pass around the offering plate at your church? Every Sunday. Every Sunday. <laughs> At least twice, <laughs> maybe. Listen. Okay. Now, let me read this. People got to make a living. <laughs> <laughs> We're not <laughs> passing them around, though. We ain't nobody for money. Now, listen. Matthew 5 and 17. It's red letters. Think not that I am come to destroy the law. What's the law? The Torah. Okay. The Old first, Testament. First five books of the Bible. All right? That's the Torah, the law. Christ said he and, did not come to destroy the law. I'm, I'm reading it. Think not I have come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am come not to destroy, but to fulfill. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law till all that? be fulfilled. Did you catch that? Till all yeah. be fulfilled. Did you catch that? All has not been fulfilled yet. But is it he said, not he one joke. Well, let me read the rest of it. Not it, one joke. That's what he's saying himself. He's saying one himself. tittle. That means you gotta cross all the T's, dot all the I's. But let me read the last part. It makes it very clear. Okay. Matthew 5 and 19. You should remember this one. You teach it to your friends. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments least. In, in the law. That's a least, not being able to eat, you know, eating pork. Pork. Yeah. And shall teach men so. He shall be called the least in the kingdom now, of heaven. Right, right. But whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of so heaven. So you guys don't eat pork and stuff? Hell no, we don't no, eat no pork. I do not. Pork makes you Just stink. I don't right. eat shrimp. I don't, don't eat you know pork. The, I don't when you eat, eat pork, fish, I don't eat lobster. Don't eat no, no crab tails. Well, look, first of all, when you eat pork, well, it oozes out your pores. Though. Because it's also mentioned in the same book where it tells you not to eat pork. Let me get Tells you not to eat anything that feeds off the bottom of the sea, like unless catfish. it has fins or gills on it. Scrimp. A catfish is a bottom feeder. It eats nothing. Like a pig. Yeah, they, what is a pig? They what? feed off nothing but filth. That's how they live. A pig will eat a dookie. It will eat. It will eat a human. It eat a pig will eat anything. Anything that's there we go. A pig is a, pretty much the 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 land version of a catfish. Like in the water, it the catfish off eats the all the bottom trash. and the trash of the ocean. Like no, shrimp does. Let's speak at a time. Let's speak at a time. This is uh, Luke 24 and 44. And he said unto them, These are the words which I spake unto you while I was yet with you, that all things must be fulfilled which were written in the law of Moses. Written in the law of Moses. Don't eat pork. Don't be a faggot. Don't commit adultery. Don't steal. Don't kill. Do you think it's mean to say that word? What, what's faggot? Well, what's faggot mean? What is a faggot? Is a bundle of sticks that you burn up. Look it up. That's what it means. But you think it's, it's okay, okay to say that? It's like being gay. Well, gay means we had. Gay means we had. The Bible is totally yeah. against it. Sodomite. Sodomite. It all the same thing. That means you ain't supposed to let no mom, no man stick nothing up your butt. Yes, nasty. You know, that's common with I'm American saying, women. I know, I just saw that. American women like things in their butts for some reason. I do not. Well, don't I they? Do not. I'm American. <laughs> he I'm said not. man, not woman. But you got to admit it. No, he said woman. Well, right along though. Oh, boy. He said American women. Oh, I, didn't hear, I thought he said well, man. That's why, that's sure why they had that song. Yeah, yeah, so American woman. Oh, American woman, stay away stay from away me. Stay away from me. <laughs> he said don't come knock around my American woman. I don't want to see your face no more. Because she came and turned him out. You guys go. Let me read this one. Walk up and down High Street. No, we're What's just that? basically no, right here. standing here. I feel like I've seen you before down there. You probably have. Maybe. How long so. you been here? Have. We were. Three it was a memory. No, no, no we're this is it. This, this is our main spot right, right here. here. You just Luke, came from North Carolina. This is Luke yeah. 6 and 46. 46. 
listen carefully. And why call ye me Lord, Lord, and do not the things which I say? Do you think Jesus ate pork? He woke up in the morning and ate bacon? <laughs> do you think, did Jesus have a beard? The Bible said don't Probably. shave your beard off. Probably did have but all, a beard. But all these weak, look, all these weak, limp-wristed men out here, they all got perfectly clean-shaven faces. And most of them are homosexual, bisexual. They're, they're a weak, effeminate. They're afraid to raise their voice. They'll never stand up for anything. You know what I mean? Why are you stereotyping so many people? Well, what stereotype? We're here to judge the world. You know what the word stereo means? But you're not supposed to judge people. Yes, we are. That's the Bible true. tells us to. Yeah, yeah get first. Uh, get don't you uh, be more like like Jesus? Jesus? Get first Corinthians uh, no, the, 15. We're about to give Jesus you the scripture that. Judgment. No, that's not true. That's, that's a Tupac true. scripture. Hold on a second. First Corinthians 2 and 15. And while he gets that, I'm going to read this scripture. Uh, Romans 3 and 31. This is what Paul says. This whole world was deceived. Yeah. You know? Well, there's another scripture in Luke. I just feel like, as a pers personal Luke. preference, I don't like to pass judgments on people. Well, that's, that's all right. That's cool. That's it's cool. not you for you. you. That's, I mean, because think about how many people probably walk past y'all and are if, like, well, right. no, I, well, I don't want to talk to them, blah, blah, blah. What if they were more like me Check and they wanted out. to stop here and talk to you guys and hear what you actually had to say? And well, then listen. people would be more willing to listen to what you guys have to say. We're, we're not perfect. I know we're, you're we're not some perfect. You out here too. judging people. Yeah, but listen, we're not going <laughs> to judge people. But if we do something ourselves, Okay. Uh, that's the script I'm looking for. That's right. That's Matthew. I'm not that's Matthew Matthew cannot seven. be a drug dealer, but I Matthew come out here and drug dealers out. You know? Yeah, if you that's sell me. If you sell if you sell drugs, you can't curse out a drug dealer. Right. How that's can just I come hip, out that's here? That's just being hypocritical. How can I exactly. Right, We're not. Right, exactly. How can I come out here and condemn homosexuality if, if I'm one myself? Right. Exactly. You know, you ever heard of the down low brother? On the down low? Yeah. Some <laughs> people that are homosexual <laughs> hide it, but those same people will curse a fag out. Well, yeah, because they don't, know, yeah. they don't want anybody to know. Right. You get that's that first why. Corinthians that's just a defense mechanism. That makes mechanism, it clear. We got to get that. Opinion. First Corinthians uh, 2 and 15. And why he's getting... Let me read a scripture. Another dealing with the law. Because... Uh, we don't have to go after this one, though. I'm sorry. Hold, we can give you two more scriptures. This is going to be Two time. more. Three more. Listen, okay. uh, five Romans more. three. <laughs> oh, that's five cool. More, five more. No, Romans no, no. three. <laughs> three. Just three more. Romans three and thirty-one. It's what Paul said. Okay. This is what Paul said. Do we then make void the law through faith? God forbid, yea, we establish the law. You get that, Corinthians? Now this is going to deal with uh, judging. People establish the law? Well, the law, don't eat pork, keep the Sabbath, don't be a faggot, don't commit adultery. And teach men not to do the same thing, you know, not to eat, you know. Go ahead. First Corinthians 2 and 15. Scripture number but two. he that is spiritual. Oh, hold on, are you spiritual? I, sometimes, yeah. I Are think you so. spiritual? All right, read it. Read it. Listen. <laughs> First Corinthians two and fifteen. <laughs> but he that is spiritual judges all things. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Yet he himself is judge of no man. He that is spiritual. He. Key word. You got more of that? <laughs> well, you okay, get. You no, get no, Corinthians this, six. This is this is scripture number three. This is the law. This is in the Leviticus. Leviticus nineteen and fifteen. Ye shall do no unrighteousness in judgment. Thou shalt not respect the person of the poor, nor honor the person of the mighty. But in righteousness shalt thou judge thy neighbor. Yep. The righteousness. You gotta judge righteous judgment. Not to be a hypocrite. Make you wanna shake your hands sometimes. You know what I mean? These scriptures just come out like that. You know, what verse is that? Turning that water, that's Leviticus, the law. The book of Leviticus. Turn on that water and let that water just continue flowing all night long. That's how it's good for me. That's why we're out here. The, yeah, the, the Lord likened his wisdom unto a oasis. Unto a, they called it the rivers of living water. So it's telling you if you're a spiritual person that you judge other people. We judge, judge the world. Things. We judge the world. I mean, as long as you ain't being a I hypocrite. Mean, I feel like you can have your own personal judgment, but you shouldn't go out there and really... I don't know, like, okay. it's kind of like- well, Can I give you one more scripture then? What yeah. about people to go to the courtroom downtown and get judged? I, they don't I tell that there. judge to stop judging. They sure I mean, don't. that's because it's the court system and we they don't throw your ass in jail. That's not the Lord's court system. That's well, not the Lord's court yeah, system. Yeah, but we have to deal with the government because we're American citizens. Is that why this is the kingdom of Satan? That's what this is. America? It's founded by slavery and genocide, was it not? I don't know. I don't think 
don't know. Founded by slavery don't know. Genocide. Even the founding fathers that all had slaves, George Washington <laughs> is on the one dollar bill. Oh, I hear that, I know that. He had like 300 slaves. Thomas Jefferson had a whole plantation. But that doesn't mean that everybody else. Check this out. But here it is, Thomas like Jefferson. Now, especially not. Who well, wrote, they're the same people now. Who wrote the Declaration the of Independence? A lot of people. No, it was Thomas, Thomas Jefferson. Jefferson. But, but, he, but he yeah. said, but he said, you're all created equal, and we're all supposed to be free. But while he had slaves, right. but he's a hypocrite. Right. And he didn't believe in the Lord either. Did you know Thomas Jefferson? He wrote his. He edited the Bible and published his own Bible. And he took all the miracles out. And he took all the so-called supernatural events out in the Bible. And he said Jesus was a real man, but he didn't actually raise from the dead. He didn't actually heal anybody. Look it up. So basically it's just saying Jesus is a historical figure. Right. So he was an antichrist. He was the devil. Jesus? No, Thomas, Thomas Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson. The devil. Isaiah 58 and 1. Yeah. If anybody is an antichrist, it's probably Obama. Well, he's the, no, he's uh, all anti, anti. Yeah, he's one anti. Not one of the. He's ridiculous. He's a psycho. Well, he's no yeah, different than any other no president. Question about that. He is no different than any other president. This watch the Every training. other president. He's just a puppet. Of he, he doesn't call up. this shots. Other Edomites. people are calling this shots. Edomites. The nation that's condemned by the Lord. The so-called Jews, the biggest piece of shit on the planet. Here we go. Isaiah 58 and 1. Cry aloud. Spare not. We ain't supposed to spare. When we come out here and we get the Lord put us in that trance and put us in the spirit, we we ain't we gonna cry aloud and we ain't gonna spare nothing. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. And when we speak loud, people get offended. Why y'all talking so loud? First of all, we real men. We speak with a loud, rough voice. We don't talk like little girls. And show my people. Their transgression. So we're supposed to show our people their transgression. Not hide it and conceal it. Just look at them. We just look. Like our Don't women. Don't say nothing. Like our like a lot of our women walk around wearing tight ass pants, got tattoos on their titties. You got, heard the tramp stamp. The tramp oh, yeah, stamp. Right there. Oh. That's disgusting. That's unattractive. You guys don't have any tattoos? Oh, no. for God's sake. No. I mean, if you had, you? the Lord forgive you. Yeah, for God. Right. That's a simple thing. You That's have tattoos? Thing. That's a little thing. But you, you ain't supposed before. to get tattoos. Right. You devoured your body. You can get piercings. Yeah, yeah piercings. Women cool. get piercings, Even but you ain't, I mean, you ain't supposed to just pierce. No. Uh, you got a tongue piercing. That's, right. that's, I feel like that's just yeah, something that's that you get attention yeah, that's for. That's fine. Like, that's just asking for attention if you want to pierce. Yeah, you know, people do want that type of thing. There's no wrong with having piercings. Even, you know? men, even the Bible said uh, men can have earrings. Mm -hmm. you know? So you're from North Carolina. You know about lizard lake towing? Oh, in Fayetteville? I'm not sure what town it is. I was in North Carolina up in Kansas. I think I do, honestly. What's it? You said it's a real small town, and they go around repossessing cars. It's a TV oh, show on TV. True TV. It probably is a favorite. Yo, what are your freshmen here? Let me get this script. Yeah, I'm they a are. Sophomore. Sophomore? Yeah. You've never seen us out here before? You just transferred. You know, we've been yeah, out she here. She says she's only been here been three out here weeks. Years, you know. So you guys don't have anybody else. You don't. Yeah. You don't have. We anybody. worldwide. Y'all. No, yeah, we got no. brothers teaching in the same spirit over in the UK and Germany. But what uh, about like as far as Columbus goes? No, Columbus, well, I don't know, but Columbus is a lost cause. <laughs> Columbus well, is asleep. A lost cause then. Columbus, you know, there there may be a few out there. There might be a few brothers out here, but not many. There are some out there pushing them. Uh, what do you guys? That were Israelites, but we're they Israelites. don't they don't have the truth Israelites. like we have. We're Israelites. That's just what y'all. The Lord might be an Israelite. Well, I know no, she's Israelite. definitely an Israelite. Mm -hmm. Why do well, you say she definitely won? Well, I'm just saying. You say you think she is? I know she. Is. I don't know. <laughs> I don't what know. That's that a big deal. I mean, it's up to the most high. <laughs> read that. You know, you never know. Second. It don't matter if she is right or not. We don't have concubines. We have all kind of concubines. You know, the Bible says we can have more than one woman. What's the definition of an Israelite? Yashuala, a child, a prince of God. Israel, Yashuala. The Lord said he, in Matthew 15 and 24, Matthew 15 and 24 said the Lord only came for the lost sheep of the house. The Lord chooses us. We can't choose the Lord. Hey, let him bring this. Yeah, that's right. You're right, too. That's John. Read that scripture. Let me get that for you, too. Second, Second Timothy 4 and 2. Preach the word, be instant, in season, out of season. That's why we're at. We come out here in the summertime, winter, and fall. We be 30 below here. zero, we out here freezing our we, asses yeah. off. How often do you come out here? Once a week, mostly. 
went tonight. Yeah. So yeah. Lately, lately we've been coming out on Thursday. That's the only day we can all get together. Cause we live in we live in America. Can I ask where you guys work at? Oh, it was good. Oh, Maybe work. later if you want to. You know. Where do you work at? Here, I can't. This, stop, this is all. This is where we work. This is where we work. I'm not gonna go stalk you. I'm just curious. Bro, this is on camera right here. This is where I work right here. This is my main job right here. They ain't got jobs. I got. This is my main job right here. This is the only work that matters. Right. All the, all these jobs out here is pretty much okay. slavery. What do you do during lunch? Me, I, I used to work in the medical field. I'm a hustler. You what? Some nice, some you know what I'm saying? I had fun in the medical field. You had fun in the I medical field? I had fun. I had fun. They number one. I, I, I'm a I, chef. The work I chose was the type of work I wanted to do. I didn't want to do some work I didn't want to. I mean, kind of, you know, you've been working years and you're working that job and you don't want to be there. Why would you do it? I'm going to school so I can actually do okay. what I want. So I, say, I did the same thing. I went into a field a that I wanted to work in. You know? So you going to go be chopping little animals' balls off? Yeah, I need a cat that needs her clitoris cut off in her. Yeah. Spade and neuter. I mean, it's it's a personal preference, so. I think it's the, I think it's the only one. You know, ain't no more working there. You know how a deep claw cat, my cat, my yeah, cat is deep claw. You know what like that does to a cat, man? I would never do that to a cat. Look, I got scratches all over me. I don't like hurting animals. I love a huge animal lover. Me too. So is she? We both are in like the same program. You know, you know, the Bible said that animals have more sense than people. Yeah, they, my cat just be standing there to see if crickets jump in. Hey, let me get it. I feel like they can see spirits too. Especially dogs. I think they have like a, a, a sixth sense. Me, yeah, they do. We, do, we gotta do it. I Isaiah, let me read this for you. <laughs> Listen to this. You, you got a female gland. Isaiah 1 and 3. Actually, let me start it too. Isaiah 1 and 2. Hear, O heavens, and give ear, O earth, for the Lord hath spoken. I have nourished and brought up children, and they have rebelled against me. Mm. Ain't that what we see out here? Everybody Every rebels day. against the Most High. The ox, the, excuse me, the ox, the ox, <laughs> the ox, ox. <laughs> it's the bab. The ox knoweth his owner. Listen, the ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib. But Israel doth not know my people doth not consider to mm. so the Lord's people of Israel. Where is Israel? A sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, a seed of evildoers, Ooh. children that are corrupted. He's only talking about Israelites. Only Israelites. Right. His people. His people. They have forsaken the Lord. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger. They are gone away backwards. Oh, you know? That's the point. So our people are backwards, they evil, and no goddamn good. They're pieces of shit. Check this out. Animal King. Like to um, Proverbs uh, 12 and 10. A righteous man regardeth the life of his beast. Right. But the tender mercies of the wicked are cruel. How do they treat these animals up in the uh, slaughterhouse? Have you seen the way? Have you That's ever seen a? Yeah, have you yeah. ever seen a spider chicken? Mm. Get on Google, type in spider chicken. Tucky fried chicken. Like, this like is a chicken, chicken with eight wings that they genetically modify to grow eight wings. How do you think wings. we get all these wings at the restaurant every day? Someone ordered twenty oh, wings. Oh, oh, oh. Like, you ever seen where are all these wings coming from? Just like mutated animals. Yes, right. they are. You know what? That's like. Yeah. Yeah. That's just a fake fish. Like you get that before? Nah. Check this out. I, they used to say I look like Eminem when I did yeah, have I a beard. I want you to type in your guys' thing on Twitter. In these, in these pet stores, <laughs> these veterinarians, don't you know they inject the, the cats, dogs, Here, I got you. or reptiles, they inject them with a microchip. Especially if you buy them out of a the store, they're injected with a microchip. You ain't supposed to inject nothing with no microchip. Right. You know? But all they're doing with that microchip, they were practicing for you and us. So now yeah, they're... Yeah, because that it says in the Bible. Right. Yeah. Revelation 13 chapter. 
I just read gonna, the revelations on the night. Right, they're about to inject us. They're about to force that on the on the people. Yeah, Mark. It ain't gonna be by well, maybe at first it's gonna be by choice. Yeah, you seen the times about this. Yeah, you seen the new iPhone, iPhone watch that came out? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, the iPhone like five S and stuff. Right, right, they all, right. The government has all of our fingerprints now. Everything. Right, right. But now I see they know a little something. But now they got the new iWatch. They pushing it so you can. They want you to buy everything in the store with your iWatch or iPhone. And soon they're going to take it one step further and they're going to put a chip in everybody. Because now they already got Everyone's hackers. Gonna go they're, already they're, they're already doing it. They're already doing it. Because there's a, there's a club over in Holland called the Baja Club. You can't get in this club unless you got a chip. You know? Oh, yeah, they scan you. Uh, it's popular with entertainers and yeah, yeah, yeah. and people the rich. I knew they were putting them in the animal. Right. But I didn't know. Yeah, they've been doing the animal since the 70s. You know? Elizabeth. But now they've so been doing it with the people. Mm -hmm. That means house of God. Right. Now they're going to give you... You got the name in Hebrew on their chest. Oh. Wow. That's yeah. pretty cool. That's a good name to have, though. That's an Israelite name, okay? Yeah, I'm Jordan. Jordan, that's Jordan, from the River Jordan. River Jordan, wow. Jordan. Wow. Right. I guess y'all might be this one. I'll probably see y'all again, for real. I'm gonna take y'all again. Nice firm shake. You do the handshakes? You guys don't do the handshakes? You hit me up on, you hit me up on, uh, uh salute. <laughs> All right, nice to meet y'all. Thanks a lot. Right. Handshake. Skin. <laughs> That time coming, boy. That time coming. No, I know. That time coming. I know. You know? Yeah, yeah. If you want to touch me, you might have passed out. You know what I'm saying? Oh, fuck. Yeah, that's mine. White, I like the blonde hair. They both right. I like the other. Look at that ass. You can see a shake from here. <laughs> Ooh, woo! I, remember. So I, I just don't like. Number out I, I don't like shaking people's hands at me. I'm here. They even feel like we best friends and shit. I'm just to get a better look at it. Oh, shit. I mean, she, she wanna yeah, hit me up. Yeah. She's gonna hit me up on Twitter and shit. That's a whole other story. Right, right, right. Uh, she's yeah. gonna hit me up on my phone. It's a whole other story. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, oh. We can't follow the same bitch. Hey, Paul, Paul's the one that reeled them hoes in. Yeah, you told me not to talk to him. Well, he was like, why are you now. telling him not to talk to us? Well, they, 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 they can watch the video. Why y'all get quiet when we walk by? <laughs> I didn't even notice it. No, she was like, why'd you tell him not to talk to us? <laughs> I really didn't notice it. Oh, no, that, right there. Nah, I don't say that because I was reading, so, uh, we just read the scripture. Mm -hmm. right. I mean, so that's a shock when women stop by. But, hey, Lindsay, call me. But some, sometimes, like I said, sometimes the women, they have more spine than these faggot ass men out here. Weird. You know what I mean? Yeah, right. And that, that's yeah. a goddamn shame. That's like the scripture said a woman can pass a man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I see. Shit, I gotta wrap it up, Shane, if I gotta take you home and then go. The woman will wanna stop. I mean, even though we, look, even though we talk shit about a woman, there's all these women are hoes, man. Let's, let's just be straight about it. All these women is hoes. I guarantee those girls want virgins, okay? But we still there's forgiveness for that, you know what I mean? They said they had tattoos. That's yeah, I mean, so... That one. No, they both did. But there's forgiveness for all of that, you know what I mean? Yeah, thanks. But another thing that I was about to say, there's that scripture where Paul said, there is neither bond nor free, nor man nor woman, if, if you in the truth, you know what I mean? But it's very rare, like the book of a clean, I'm gonna get it. It's very rare for a woman to get the truth. Very rare. And I tell every time, every time the scripture mentions about a woman, they always say nothing. Right, none of that. None righteous. Ecclesiastes. None. I got it right here. Ecclesiastes. Uh, Ecclesiastes 7 and 26. That's why we don't set our hopes too high for these women. Okay? And you can't get too excited when you think, oh, she's getting it, man. She's getting it. <laughs> no, I, no, man. Whole time. Those bitches were just intrigued because they was thinking about her dick size. Oh man. Yeah, they're from North Carolina, you know what I'm saying? Too. Yeah, they got little honkies. Well, yeah, they got what they call the Southern Bells. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she a Southern Bell. You can tell they weren't from up here too. They got a whole different spirit. That, 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 that Yankee spirit is different from that Southern spirit. You know what I mean? I ain't no goddamn Yankee. He said, I ain't no goddamn Yankee. What's that, your boy, wasn't that Ted Nugent had the band, the damn Yankees? <laughs> was it him? Yeah, Ted Nugent, that was his band, the damn uh, Yankees. 
He had a few bands. And Ted Nugent, he could play the guitar like a motherfucker. He's a big faggot. Right, you're right, he does suck. He is a big faggot. Yeah, I, ne I mean, I never, I'm just saying. I'm just saying, I was fucking, he's like, weird, man. He is kind of weird, Eddie. Weird. Always hunting and killing shit. Right, they got, he got videos in there. Yeah, all you want to do is kill some shit. Yeah, I ain't never, I mean, I'm just saying, because I never listened to that shit. <laughs> right. I grew up listening to Metallica. It was a hardcore gangster shit. Who gives shit. a shit? <laughs> yeah, who gives a shit? Well, his what was your band growing up, Kiss? Guns N' Roses. Kiss? Kiss? Oh, Guns N' Roses? Kiss better on He said Kiss is better on Hey, Kiss has some bad yeah. shit, though. Yeah, actually, Paul Stanley made Kiss. The Love Gun? <laughs> That's a bad song. That's that shit. That's a bad song. Oh, even your girl's name was Beth. Remember Peter Chris, that song, Beth? Mm -hmm. <laughs> One of my favorite drummers that, of all fucking time. That was my sister's and favorite. And now that I like this, Peter Chris was a badass drummer, man. Yeah. And you know what, during his concerts, he got you close up eating your chicken sandwich. Who <laughs> the fuck is my chicken sandwich? <laughs> this chicken ain't pork. Check it out. Majority of Kiss's concerts, Peter Chris would do at least a 20, 30 minute solo. Damn. I mean, what other drummer does that? The only one I can think of is John Bonham. From Led Zeppelin. Very few, huh? And, and, endurance, and usually, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. and usually. Watch it, you can see them, you can just pull the videos up, man. But usually yeah. drum solos are torture, too. They do do one. Yeah. They yeah. suck. Yeah. Like, who the hell want to hear a drum solo? Hey, you in the spirit, it's bad. Yeah, it is. I know it's what bad, you're saying. Man. It's bad, man. It's bad. Because there's a lot you can do with drums, other than just having a, a cymbal and one, two, three. There's some drummers that like all those. Six cymbals, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, six toms, five snares, so you six go, bass drums. So you want to go on record about Gene Simmons? Is, <laughs> yeah, is yeah. he or is he eight? <laughs> he's Mitchell, right? He's yeah, just Mitchell, a right? wicked ass Mitchell. Yeah, he evil's a motherfucker. Let me tell you something. He looks at Paul Stanley, in, 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 especially in the 70s, man. You can see video, he's looking at him like, in, like envy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? God, God. Paul Stanley has rhythm. And he has a lot of fucking rhythm. You know, he's that's smooth, how you know he's a J. And they say he's the one of the biggest pussy getting his motherfuckers Ooh, in history. Wee. For they, real. They say he did For no real. drugs, never drank, all he does is fuck bitches. <laughs> <laughs> that's all it. That's actually him and Gene. Yeah, Gene yeah. never smoked or drank either, yep, did he? Yep, yep, same way. But he's they said way. Ace Fraley was a fucking the drug addict. <laughs> they said Ace Fraley, that's <laughs> how you know Ace Fraley and Jake too. Right. Ace Fraley, they said he used to fuck with uh, 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 Gene Simmons and he'd show up at his uh, house late at night dressed in a Nazi uh, <laughs> uniform going, hi Hitler. Right, right. Because <laughs> yeah, you know, Gene fancy. Simmons was a Jew. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he showed up at his house going, hi Hitler with him. <laughs> you <laughs> you <laughs> blaspheming God. God. You blasphemy God. No, blasphemy God. You're a big faggot. Show us how then, man. Come here, man. You're Come here, man. Just how at us, man. Like plugging it. You know what? The Bible says resist the devil. And he shall flee from you. You're lucky I didn't punch you in your fucking face, <laughs> goddammit. Hey, let me get this scripture. We talking about them hoes. Because <laughs> all them hoes, these bitches out here ain't nothing but hoes, man. Bitches and hoes ain't nothing but bitches tricks. Hoes ain't... <laughs> I was about to say the same thing. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's a... I made a song that goes I wonder like who that. the first rapper to use that line. Bitches and hoes ain't nothing but tricks. That's like an old, what's the one though? You get an old folk song? Old folk song, traditional song. That, that I made that traditional song. Yeah, I made it in 2012. Just like that. Uh, oh, what's that shit? That Muddy Water. Muddy Waters didn't write it, but uh, like some Hank Williams. No, song. that's traditional. The Catfish Blues. You got the Catfish Blues. No, that's not how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's like, man, you don't know about a Catfish Blues. Just Google that shit. Listen, he's talking about I'm gonna go fishing for a woman. That's what he's talking about. But let me find this, cause uh, yeah, cause you go you go fishing for a woman out here, you know you gonna catch us some catfish, some, STDs. some some bottom feeders, some goddamn carp, you know what I mean? You ain't gonna find no tasty salmon, you gonna find a carp, a nasty carp with three eyeballs, shit, you know, got toxic waste shit. and shit, some Springfield shit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let me read that. Uh, Ecclesiastes 7 and 26. And I find more bitter than death the woman whose heart is snares and nets 
and her hands as bands. Whoso pleaseth God shall escape her, but the sinner shall be taken by her. We have plenty of examples of that in our experiences, being in the truth. That's right. Seeing people getting taken by the woman, the woman making brothers fall out the truth. Actually, we've seen a couple of brothers in the perfect temple of that. Don't even see them on there. Don't even call you on that. But y'all like playing. We ain't heard from God. We, Lord knows how long. And God used to say, yeah, he didn't know. God used to tell me, he used to, he used to actually tell me, man, my wife is evil, man. My wife evil, Then he man. moves she, to Florida you know, with the leave his son man. behind. You know, you know, I, I met her. She was. She's. I, who, who was, was kind of scared too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's one day when I was yeah. at work, oh, his dad would sometimes pick up. You know what I'm saying? He'll drop me off. And one day, dad was like, "Yeah, man, my uh, dad's girl's uh, picking me up tonight." <laughs> so he's like trying to let me know, like, right, right, right. Hey, about to uh, drop you off like 30 seconds down the street. Damn. But that's why I'm, I, that's why I got the most high really blessed me when uh, I broke up with uh, my when I first came in the truth my baby's mama we thought we had a nice little family but when it <laughs> you know what I'm saying we thought we had a little perfect little right, family right 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 man that bitch was a goddamn demon Woo. when the word of the Lord came out her horns just started growing out her head man mm -hmm. she didn't want to have nothing to do with no Sabbath she would never stop eating pork. You know what I mean? Like I want to kiss. Oh, cause I haven't eaten pork in ten years plus anyway. Mm -hmm. Before I was in the truth. Mm -hmm. But who want to kiss a woman after she ate a, a bacon or ate a bratwurst? That's right. That's right. That's right. I don't want to kiss you. That's one That's thing right. too. Since I ain't been eating that shit, man, you get to.